Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rob from Next Truck Sales. I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2021 Volvo VNL 740. It features a Volvo D13 engine, iShift automatic transmission. It's set up for hauling uh, oversized, overdimensional, or flat deck type application. It'll also work with a flat, uh, excuse me, with a dry van, but obviously you're not going to get the fuel economy set up with without the roof extender. It does have two beds. I'll take you through the truck. I'll show you some of the features. It's well equipped. It's got warranty on it and ready to go to work. So let's let's get started here. This is our new location here in Cambridge. You can see we got got our sign put up the other day. So we'll, we'll be getting uh, hopefully up and running here nice and soon with everything looking proper. But for now, we got to get video going on this thing here. So you'll see here that we've got the bumper on the front. That's a nice, uh, material here it's I think it's called an X guard it's rubberized on top of metal which is nice and I do like this so here I am with my phone in my hand and I can literally give that a tug oh maybe a hand and a half not quite one hand but a hand and a half so you can see that we've got hooks on here and then the grab bar that you pull on to get that bumper to come down to get access into the under the hood so let's have a look underneath the hood now that i've gone through that so still have the same volvo pull handle slightly different arrangement on the newer style volvos the old ones used to have the hood latch would be mounted right here it was mounted to the actual frame this one here is mounted if you look it's mounted to the cab the reason why I was told originally that Volvo did it that way was to reduce vibrations coming into the cab. So if there are vibrations now, well, your hood's not going to shake. Everybody would always complain the hood was shaking, but then you're going to have some hood vibration resonating into the cab. So have a look there. You'll see where it mounts up. Okay. Other than that, we've got 11R225 Michelin's steer axle drum brakes. We've got full warranty on this engine. So you've got no leaks there. If we did, we'd be able to take it over to the Volvo dealer and get it fixed. You got no check engine lights. If we, again, if we did, we'd be able to take it over to the Volvo dealer and get it fixed, nice and dry. This one has a stabilizer bar, which is gonna give you a more stable ride at the front so it won't sway as much. And we've got Michelin X-Line Energy Zs at around 80% tread. Have a look here, super clean. You can see that. I'll give you a good look. We'll get it running in just a minute, not quite yet. I'll go through the rest of the truck first. Okay, spring ride front suspension with grease fittings, which is always nice. Have a look over here. We've got a nice stainless steel mount for our manual inspections. And there's a lot of similarities on this new style Volvo. They haven't changed everything. They've changed some stuff. So we've got a big inverter here. We've got a Webasto air top and we've got shore power, cab power coming throughout with receptacles. I do like the Volvo for this feature. If you're loading inside of here and it's raining, you can hide under here and not get too terribly wet. Volvo's the only one that has the door go up. Okay, it's a beige fawn type of color with a blue metallic bottom. We've got a headache rack here on the back. Simple, we'll hold chains, no doors. Okay, the back of the cab is nice and clean and you can see the battery powered APU unit. These don't have the same capacity as a diesel, but they also don't have the same amount of maintenance. 150 gallons of fuel on this side. You see here, frame is very clean. Half fender with General HDs, closed shoulders, 11R225 as well. Okay, 11 or 22.5. These are going to be, I don't know, 70 or 80 percent. You've got tire chain hangers on the back here. Volvo air ride suspension on the back here. There's no locker back there. Drums on the back. Again, more matched general drive tires. And over on this side here, we've got another 150 gallons. So we've got 300 gallons of fuel. And these are the batteries for your smart air system, whatever you want to call it, the Volvo 
air conditioning system. It's every manufacturer uses the same brand and every manufacturer gives it a different name, but you can see the unit there. It runs on batteries and those batteries are charged by the alternator. If you have a look over here, you'll see the alternator. It's a double capacity. It's like 320 amps or something like that. Uh, what do we got here? 320 amps. So that's a monster output out alternator. It's going to charge eight batteries, four for the truck and four for the air conditioner. And there's an isolator so that if you run that air conditioning unit to the point that the batteries are completely dead for the air conditioner, your truck still starts. We've got a kill switch over here, which is on, which is good. We put a lock on top of that. You've got your def tank here. And this hasn't been broken off yet, which is good. So decent, certified clean idle. This is going to meet U.S. and California emissions as well as U.S. federal DOT. If you take a look there, you'll see we've got the compliance sticker with the U.S. EPA. And then we've got emissions. And what do we got here? So we've got a 425 1750 torque with a direct drive. So that's going to be geared fast, but the direct drive is going to give you better fuel economy on the flat. 13, 2, and 40 rears. 2021, this truck went on the road in February 2020. I believe we've got a four year, 500,000 mile warranty on it. So we've got warranty until next uh, 2024. So let's have a look inside of here and see. So let it go through its thing. Okay, and you'll see here on the odometer, or sorry, rather the speedometer, kilometers is large, miles is small, no modification needs to be made. And your odometer, 331,000 miles. We got three-way lockers, so your power divider has a cross lock and a front and rear lock. We've got the seat mounted shifter, and got all kinds of buttons in here. You've got your obviously your your jake brake control, and then you've got your turn signal or rather uh, wiper washers and then you get your turn signal over here I'm not going to go through all this because obviously it's, it's pretty much the same on every truck i want you to get an idea of the general overall condition of this truck though you can see we've got leather seating they're heated uh i'm going to turn that off because it was actually coming on while i'm sitting in it leather over here still to install a mattress but this one here has a feature where you can pop that up and then you can rest on that kind of and sit at this table this little pop-out table eat your dinner so that's kind of cute without having the full on desk over here we've got your inverter a bunch of led lighting and two beds which is sometimes rare for a mid-roof this is pan out of it I'll give you a good look there so you can see you get second bed you've got 120 volts in that receptacle there we've got more plugs up top there more plugs here this is smart you need kind of need plugs everywhere don't you nowadays so 12 volt plugs and then you can obviously put in your little adapter for your usb charger if that's what you want to do this little writing table there let's have a look here that looks like that's got to be of course, it's not quite closing. What's going on here? Yeah, so that'll need to be popped together. We'll deal with that later. A decent size fridge, not the full size like the 780, but definitely bigger than the miniature 670. And this now doesn't even want to close at all. So we'll leave that open so that we remember to fix it. And let's have a peek underneath here. Let's see what we got going. So that pops that up. So we'll pop it down, see if that helps. Give me one minute, I'm just gonna put the phone down while I pull on that. Let's see what the deal is. So that's got a shock absorber in there. Interesting. So, I know I couldn't show it with one hand. You pull on that and it's gonna pop up. And then to put it down, you to put, it's not going to go down unless you put weight on it and pull the handle at the same time. So I guess if you're going to lay down to, to go to sleep, 
you grab that handle with your left hand while you're laying down and then put your weight back into it. Uh, let's have a look through here. So you'll see, obviously we've got a well-appointed interior. There's some holes where the GPS or satellite mount might have been uh, located. We've got chargers up on the dash, which is nice. And CD and more chargers and more lights, which is all great. Uh, secure storage inside of here. Clothes rack, more storage down the bottom, flat screen TV mount, and one big, huge tray across the front, which is going to hold all kinds of stuff. So most importantly, let's go have a listen to this thing running, and we'll see what it sounds like. Wow. Impressive. I do have to give Volvo credit. Probably put one of the best engines out there as far as noise level goes. Certainly, I'll tell you one thing, I drove this truck back from where we picked it up, super smooth and quiet, like a car. going on there obviously but it's always good to check we'll go around the other side now if you happen to be watching this video and you're in the US and you're interested in purchasing this truck not a problem delivery to Buffalo, New York. We have a yard there and that yard is where you would take delivery of this truck. This is our yard in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. So if you're interested in this truck or any of the other trucks that we have in stock, feel free to give us a call. Our number is 489 excuse me, 844 489 8789 